What's up everybody, it's David Draftbit, and today I'm going to show you our new action editor. So I have a demo app here, and I have a login screen, and on that login screen I have a sign-in button. And if I click on that sign-in button, you can see the right panel has updated with all the buttons, different properties, and if I come down here to the interactions tab, um, I've got my action stack my trigger for this button which is on press and then the different actions that are run when this button is pressed so you can see i'm setting a variable make an api request i have an if else uh, condition here and if i click into that i've got a true and false branch with some more actions and then if i click into that if else um, i've got even more actions and man wouldn't it be nice if there was just a better way that's better. Welcome to the new action editor. As you can see, this is a much better experience. Starting over here on the left side, we have all the actions easily available to you. Some of these actions are disabled because they require a specific component to be present on the screen. But otherwise, these are all the actions that are available to different triggers on components. And then in the center, we have our workflow, which gives a great visual representation of our actions and what's going on. Much easier to reason about now than the linear stack that we were kind of um, in previously. And then um, over here on the right side, we've got our configuration panel. So anytime I click on one of these actions, you can see I've got all the available props and configuration for each one of these different actions. And so if we want to add one of these different actions, say show an alert here, I can just drag this down, pop it in, and it's ready to go, ready to configure. Um, say we want to move that above the set variable, we can drag that up here and move it here. So any of these action nodes can be dragged around, placed in different spots. You can duplicate an action. You can hide an action, which will bypass it completely when this action uh, flow is run. And of course, you can delete actions as well. So this offers a much enhanced experience for working with actions, especially when you have more complex logic going on here, like a login flow where you need um, a couple different uh, conditional paths or you've got a lot of different things going on. This is um, makes it much easier to work with up here on the triggers we can switch between the different triggers from right here and you can see you can also zoom in and out and pan around so that is the new action editor in draft bit and we hope you love it